Hi! Today I want to continue introducing to you present tense in Ukrainian. In previous lesson we covered only one ending of indefinite uh, verb, it's ATE, and covered only two personal pronouns from this ending. Now I want to go through the other personal pronouns. Uh, first couple will be uh, VIN, meaning he, and VONA, meaning she. So, when a personal pronoun uh, uses the verbs, it will, it will have the same ending, actually, both win and vona. Uh, let's go through several verbs and you will see that the ending is equal. The first one will be uh, the word, the verb to read. In Ukrainian it will be читати. To read, читати. Він читає. He reads or he is reading. Він читає. Вона читає. She is reading. Вона читає. Він має. He has. Він має. Вона має. She has. Вона має. Він думає. He thinks. Він думає. Вона думає. She thinks. Вона думає. Він розмовляє. He talks or he speaks. Він розмовляє. Вона розмовляє. She speaks. Вона розмовляє. As you have noticed, as I said before, the ending here of every verb when it uses when it is used by the pronoun he or she is yeah. Now, let's see the other personal pronouns. We or me, the ending for it will be yemo. Yemo. Let's see the examples. Chitate to read. Me chitaimo. We read or we are reading. Me chitaimo. Znate to know. Me znaimo. Meaning we know. Me znaimo. Mate to have. Me maimo. Meaning we have. Me maimo. Dumate to think. Me dumaimo. We think, me dumaimo. Pronoun they, vone. The ending for it will be yut. Let's see the examples. Vone dumayut. They think. Vone dumayut. Vone mayut. They have. Vone mayut. Vone chitayut. They read. Vone chitayut. As you have seen, the ending here is yut. Now, let's see the conjugation for you, plural or you that is used for official addressing people or people who are older or people who are higher than you in the social status. The ending here for the verb will be yete, yete. Let's see the examples. Vy dumayete. You think. Vy dumayete. Now, I want to introduce a new verb. Gotuvate, meaning to prepare. Готувати. Ви готуєте. You prepare. Ви готуєте. Ви маєте. You have. Ви маєте. Please practice repeatedly the structures I introduced to you today and try to use as much as possible the vocabulary from the previous lessons. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to write me or ask me a question.